Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this wonderful day? I hope you're doing well. I'm going to invite, like I always do, uh, people into my room, into our chat. Um, so I hope you're doing well. And uh, it is a beautiful day. Good morning, Beth. So, good morning, Christy. So today we're going to deal with Isaiah 41.10 this morning. I feel like I need a little bit more coffee this morning for some reason. <laughs> so, Isaiah 41.10, it's in the New Living Translation. Good morning, Allison. It says, Do, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. I was reading that this morning, and I was like, wow, what an awesome, awesome passage of Scripture. So much in there. Uh, I'll deal with the front part of it in just a minute, but what really stuck out with me is the statement, uh, I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And then really what stuck out to me was the last four words, my victorious right hand. I read that and I just went, wow, that is just an awesome, awesome, awesome statement. My victorious right hand. And I'm thinking that means strength. That means uh, encouragement. That means um, won't let you go, won't, um, you're a winner, right? It, victorious. And I'm just thinking, wow, this speaks so much to me. And I read that like three times after I read the whole passage this morning. I went, ah, that just that, just that four words encourages me. Um, the whole passage encourages me, but those four words, my victorious right hands hand and and I'm like cuz I'm right-handed usually if you're right-handed or whatever hand you write with is your strongest hand your strongest and I'm like man my victorious right hand and I'm like that is just the most awesome statement good morning clifford and I'm like okay so let's get with the rest of the scripture don't be afraid, for I am with you. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. So really, when you look at this whole passage of Scripture and you tie that my victorious right hand into it, is not that just mind-blowing? That tells you, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. That just brings the, the 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 lid onto the whole scripture, my victorious right hand. Don't be afraid, I'm with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. That is just the most amazing part is that he won't let you down. If you're afraid, if you're discouraged, if you need strength, he is with you. It's it's just that cool. You know, and so I'm like, okay, I get it. So no matter what's going on in your life, I mean, really, if you're afraid, he's with you. If you're discouraged, he's with you. If you're weak or in need of strength or help, he's with you. He's strong enough to deal with whatever stuff you're going through. He's, if you're afraid, he can hold you uh, up if if you're scared if you're discouraged he can you know um, if you're afraid he can hold you through the dark places if you're discouraged he can give you a big old spiritual hug if you're need need a strength he can give you that strength I mean why his victorious right hand I mean that really just brings it all together doesn't it it's that it's that picture I just um, for me, that just brings that um, 
picture all back together, you know? And so I'm like, yeah, that's it. Got it. And, and so maybe you can, you can see it with me that, um, um, uh, it's just, it's just awesome. Yep. That's true. Allison, he never leaves us nor forsakes us. But I always, when I think of that verse, Allison, he never leaves us forsake, forsakes us, but it's, it's in that same fact that we as people, we leave him and forsake him. And, and because sometimes when we get discouraged and stuff, we walk out the door on him and he's always like left at the door going, why'd you leave me? I'm your strength. I'm your, I'm your encourager. I'm your everything. And, and so I'm like, that's so true. And so many times in life I've seen that happen. I'm like, wait a minute, he can get you through whatever you're going through. And so I'm like, wow, it just blows me away because no matter what circumstance you go through, he has the ability, he has the, the, the wisdom to get you through. He has exactly what you need, you know? And so it just blows me away. Anyways, this, this passage blew me away this morning. And I've read this passage, uh, I don't know, I won't say a million times because that's always highly exaggerated, but it feels, you know, I've read this many times. So anyways, for you this morning, go ahead and get out your notebook and write this verse out. Of course, I got mine. And I always look forward to the new year when I get out a new notebook to start my new year out. Um Isaiah 41, verse 10, it says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. That's in the New Living Translation today. So write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So uh, let's just pray this morning. And uh, just believe in God for great things today. And uh, let's just, just trust God. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray that you just uh, just do great things, Lord God. Lord, I pray for the unspoken, Lord God. I, uh, Lord, I just ask that you just move, Lord Jesus. Lord, the unspoken, Lord God, whether it's finances or health or, Lord, the numerous things that are out there, Lord Jesus. You know what they are. I pray that you just take care of uh, the the needs, Lord. And Lord, I, I know you can do it, Lord Jesus, because this verse this morning, it just tells us that. And Lord, I pray that you just make it happen. And Lord, I pray that, Lord, that you help us be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And Lord God, that you, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord. Lord, I thank you for today, Lord. Lord, bless those that are watching now and those that will watch later, Lord, in your name. Amen. Well, have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have an awesome, awesome Tuesday. And today is voting day, so don't forget to vote. Um, so get out and vote today. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you later.